I don't know that it technically matters to adjust the foot in any particular pattern, but I adjust the foot in a certain pattern because it's very easy and flowing, so to speak, going from one adjustment to the other. The first adjustment that I'm going to show you is the navicular. Now, as I stated previously, the greatest distortion of the pronated foot is at that part of the gait cycle where the heel and toes are both in contact with the floor. It's called mid stance. The navicular goes inferior and medial. Now for the adjustment. At mid stance, where the greatest distortion in the foot occurs, the navicular will be inferior and medial. So I'm going to do the adjustment on the right foot. But I'm going to show you the stabilization hand on the left foot. The stabilization is to take the flat palm of the outside hand and put it on the lateral aspect of the ankle like this. So I'll do this with my left hand on the right ankle. Now, navicular, inferior, medial. The contact point is right here, which is at the height of the medial longitudinal arch, approximately a half inch lateral to the medial border of the foot. Take the middle portion of the thenar of the inside hand and place it on the contact point on the patient. Now, we're going to adjust from a point of tension. Tension for a navicular is inversion tension, which is sole in. So, with the thenar on the contact point and the outside hand stabilizing the ankle, you're going to bring the patient's foot to its inversion tension. When the foot stops, you stop. Then you're going to picture a line that goes from your thenar to the lateral malleolus and then thrust. So bring it to tension and thrust. It is not typical to hear a pop or a cavitation on this adjustment. Remember that adjustments won't hold for more than two or three steps because of the plastic deformation of the soft tissue retaining mechanism made up mostly of the plantar fascia and all of the other bone-to-bone -bone ligaments in the foot. Now, based on measurement, the medial longitudinal arch will be built, so to speak, to its lowest end of the normal range of motion. So if you can picture a navicular going inferior and medial and the arch support allowing normal motion but blocking the excessive pronation, you'll see how this has a very stabilizing effect but allows for the normal or optimal range of motion.